Hydroponics can be a great, easy, and affordable way to grow your own food. Today, I'm going to show you how you can grow great looking lettuce just like this hydroponically at your own home. All you have to do is set it and forget it. The first step for growing your hydroponic lettuce is going to be starting your seeds. Here, we're going to be using these Oasis Grow Cubes to get these seeds started. You're going to start by soaking those grow cubes in water and getting them completely saturated, just like this. Once your grow cubes are completely saturated, you can remove them and prepare them for planting with seeds. Today, we're going to be using green butter bib lettuce. These are pelleted lettuce seeds, which just makes handling a little bit easier. And with fresh seeds, you can just place one seed per cube. But if your seeds are a little bit older, it might be a good idea to place two per hole. Now that we've planted our seeds, they're gonna be ready to germinate. So you're going to put them back into a container. We're gonna reduce the amount of water in that container because we don't need it to, we don't want the seeds to be completely flooded, but we do want them to have some water and some high humidity in there. So you can place those seeds in the container, cover it to keep that humidity high, and we're gonna wait about two to three weeks while these seeds turn into little baby seedlings where we will then transplant them into our buckets. While your seeds are in germination, you're gonna have a little bit of prep to do. So right now, we are going to drill some holes in our five gallon bucket. We are using a power drill with a two inch hole saw drill bit to drill out the holes in the lid of our bucket. We're gonna be drilling out three holes today so we can plant three heads of lettuce. It's good to stabilize the bucket and stabilize the drill using a little bit of pressure here. just like that. When your lettuce seedlings are ready, it's gonna be time for you to make your nutrient solution. There are gonna be a few steps involved in making a proper nutrient solution for your lettuce. First, you're gonna fill up your five gallon bucket with water, almost to the top, but not quite. You wanna leave about an inch of space. That's gonna provide the air which is necessary for your lettuce roots to grow successfully. In order to make a proper nutrient solution, we need to add nutrients to the water because that's how the plant can have a healthy, balanced diet. But we also need to balance the pH or the acidity of that nutrient solution so the plants are able to access those essential nutrients. These are some fancy meters that you can buy to measure your pH and the amount of nutrients in your hydroponic solution. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to make those measurements with teaspoons and with very affordable pH strips. It's a good idea to go ahead and test the level of your pH first so you know where you're starting. We're gonna use these very affordable pH indicator strips where you just put it in the water lay it to compare the color. And you can see we have a pH of about seven right now. That's neutral. We want a pH that's in the range of about five and a half to six. So now we're going to add our nutrients. The nutrients are going to help to lower the pH a little bit. Then we're gonna add our vinegar to drop the pH to our desired range of five and a half to six. So we're gonna start by adding five teaspoons of the nutrients. And now we're gonna add 10 teaspoons of the vinegar. This is white distilled vinegar. Now I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. 
to evenly distribute the nutrients and that acidic vinegar throughout the solution. Now let's see what our pH looks like. Looks like we're right there between five and six. Now that our nutrient solution has been pH balanced with our nutrients added, it's gonna be time for us to place our seedlings, which are now about two to three weeks old. Now we're going to take that lid that we drilled those three holes in with the two inch hole saw, and we're gonna place it on the top of our bucket. And we are going to take these two inch net cups to place in these two inch holes. You can see that the water level is up about halfway on these net cups. That's important so that our seedlings can remain in contact with the nutrient solution so that they can get off to a good, healthy start in this bucket. Now, we're going to take these seedlings. You can see they're already rooting out here. And we're gonna place them right here into our nutrient solution. At this point, your lettuce is gonna be ready to set outside in a sunny location in the whatever months are your lettuce growing season. Here in Florida, that's gonna be in the fall, the winter, and the beginning of the spring, where your lettuce can grow happily and healthily outside. Your lettuce is gonna be growing outside for about another three, maybe four weeks, and then your lettuce is gonna look like these examples over here. Now the real trick with the success of set it and forget it lettuce is that those seedlings that you started over here are gonna push their little roots right down into the water and nutrients. And while your plant is actively growing and taking up that water and nutrients, that water level is going down. So you really can just set it and forget it. Now your set it and forget it lettuce is gonna be ready to harvest. But don't forget to harvest it. I know your lettuce looks very beautiful and it's tempting to wanna to just show it off to everyone, but now you're gonna to want to harvest your lettuce so that you can enjoy what you've grown over the last few weeks. So here, we're just gonna take some scissors. We're gonna harvest this whole entire head today and we're just gonna cut at the base of the lettuce plant. We're gonna move that lettuce right here to a bowl where it's ready for dressing. I hope you found the set it and forget it hydroponic method to be an easy, affordable, successful, and delicious way to grow your own food. I'm Hannah Wooten with the University of Florida IFAS Extension in Seminole County. If you would like some more information, please feel free to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.